In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to utilize the editing feature specification by new duct only. This option was designed so that you will only have Practicad apply specifications to duct at the time duct is placed on the drawing. However, once you go to edit the duct later, it will not reapply the specifications. For example, currently we have a duct line which we drew with a 2 inch water gauge specification. You can see that it's calling for TDF connectors. What we're going to do is we're going to make a change that goes against what the specification is calling for. And the change we're going to make in this tutorial is we're going to take the connector out. We're going to switch it to slip and drive. So what we have now is a connector in the middle of this duct line that is actually not what the 2 inch water gauge spec table calls for. We've changed it to slip and drive, but Practicad, the spec that it was under, says it should be TDF. Now if this option specification by new duct only is unchecked, and we're going to go into where that is in a minute, what will happen is if we go to change the duct line, anytime we go to make a change, for example here we're just going to say within will be 30, you could see that Practicat has now reapplied the specs to all the duct on the line or all the duct that was changed. Therefore, you can see that the spec table called for TDF and it added TDF the second we made a change in size. However, if we would like to change this option off, we can do so by adjusting an option underneath the library icon. What we're going to do here is we're first going to undo the edit we made so that we've got the duct line with TDF connections and here you can see once again we have the slip and drive. We're going to go into the library icon on the Practicad ribbon. On the left hand side we're going to go into ductwork options by clicking on the word ductwork and all of your ductwork options will open up. Currently under duct line editing at the bottom we have here an option that says specification for new duct only. Now this is different than specification by geometry only. What this does is if it's checked, Practicad will only apply specifications at the time you place duct down. After that, it will not reapply specs regardless of any change. That is different than the option for geometry, which applies specs if a geometry parameter has been changed. However, this option will never reapply the specifications at any time. You would have to uncheck it in order for Practicad to reapply specs. So what we're going to do for this tutorial is check the option. We're going to hit the save key on the left hand side and we're going to exit out of library. Now we're going to go back and just double click on the first piece of duct in this duct line. And once again, we're going to change the width to 30. Now notice that we have a slip and drive connection. And we do know that the 2 inch water gauge spec we're using here does call for TDF. However, because of the option we have checked, if we change this to 30 and hit enter, you can see that Practicat edits the whole line. It does change the width of all of the entities, but it has not changed any other properties. Therefore, the slip and drive has not changed to TDF. So you can choose to keep the option on specification by new duct only.